So you know, if you've if you've got a find that you've got a post that's done brilliantly well, post it again. You know, because the chances are the people that saw it the first time around won't see it the second time, especially on Twitter. So the same thing that you're promoting on Twitter, you can promote six times, eight times a day. It will ask you to do it in a different way on Bake Off. So if you just basically repeated the same, cut and pasted the same tweet, it won't let you do it. But if you just mix it up a little bit, still using the same hashtags, but you can have all your accounts on, you know, all of those accounts could be on the same feed. I mean, I've gone on TweetDeck and then I found like an overload of all these feeds the scrolling, all the notifications. Yeah, so well, that's uh, scheduling items to more within the individual apps. Okay. Because I can't cope, because I've got five of each thing. Mm. Yeah. So I just find it's easy to go Instagram, I'll do it all through Instagram okay. and they're all in there. Yeah. So, so I think you have to find your own. I, I do totally agree with the, the shared yeah. thing, the mixture. But on Facebook, you can schedule posts on Facebook. Yeah, so you, you can go to the. Yeah, yeah. and that, that's quite good. So if you're feeling that you've got time, because again, going back to Facebook and it doesn't like you going off Facebook. Facebook really does like content that's being generated in Facebook. Facebook knows if it's being sent to it by Hootsuite or Buffer because it'll say posted by Buffer. So it doesn't like that. So if you can create the content into the, in the actual native platform, which you can do, you can schedule all your posts in Facebook, yeah. which is, you know, and then at least you know they're all in one place. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I'm sort of, I know I do it for a lot of different people, but I use quite an old fashioned, I'm, I'm not very good at having, you know, I, I like Hootsuite's quite nice because you can see where you've been mentioned, you can see what you've got scheduled, you can see where people, you're, you're just your general feed is going on and you can see your tweets, say, and you can click between the different Is platforms. Is that ones that are paid for on now? It depends how many accounts, yes, you do have to pay, I think it's 70 quid, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, right, yeah. yeah. I think TweetDeck's still free. Right, okay. Oh. And the more accounts you put on, oh. you can only have a certain limit, which you might. So I actually have Buffer and Hootsuite because I've split between two. Um, I think up to a certain number of accounts. Yes. 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 It's paid for at some point, don't you? Yeah, yeah. So it's, you probably need to pay. Oh. It's not crazy. And again, you can Buffer app on your phone to do it all. And Buffer will notify you, so it will say, especially on Instagram, because you actually have to post it yourself on Instagram. You've got a, a post that's waiting to be posted, and it, it prompts you to sort of do it. Um, but I, I literally, I write it down. I have a sheet like this for every client for every month, and I split each day into Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and I, even if it's just got a tick to show that I've done it, because otherwise you think, Gee, I've not got any content that today, or you find that you've scheduled three posts for the same client on the same day. So I literally write it down, which is. But in terms of scheduling, I would suggest a week's content you could probably, if you sit down and do it, you can schedule it in two hours, just get it across all the platforms done, um, just sitting down and really focusing on it. So you can, if you do get organised, I know lots of people do that on like a Sunday night, yeah, they just think like, Sunday week. night, I'm going to get it all ready for the, for the week ahead. Um, so it's worth sort of thinking about it in those terms as well.